Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on, let's put our hands together for the Lord. Amen, amen, and amen. Happy, 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 happy Sunday, everyone. Indeed, in the wilderness, through the wilderness of our lives, God is with us and God will see us through. Amen. But are you done? Can you type it down in the comment section and shout out your amens and your hallelujahs to Jesus? Amen. Welcome, welcome, welcome to our feast at home. Happy, happy Sunday. Everyone, Brother Joel here, and I'll be your host for today. And allow me, allow me to just welcome you to this spirit filled, to this blessed, blessed Sunday afternoon as we gather together here in our feast at home. At siempre, allow me to welcome all of you, di ba? Maraming maraming salamat for joining us, yung mga kasama natin ngayon sa Facebook and YouTube. And of course, if you're not watching us right this very moment, this Sunday afternoon, I want to say hi to you at whatever time, whatever moment, anumang oras, anumang araw mo pinanonood ito. That's the beauty of our feast at home. Of course, you can join us. Uy, may nakita ko. Happy birthday, Mitch! Ayan, kasama natin si Sis Mitch. Hello, hello, Sis Chato. Good afternoon, good afternoon to everyone. But yun na nga, di ba, kung hindi man nyo kami masamahan, of course, we would want you to join us here every Sunday afternoon sa ating taglish session ng Feast at Home ng Feast Ortigas this week. But if you cannot, then, of course, at any time, at your most convenient time, pwedeng-pwede nyo kaming samahan. So, To those who are not watching with us right now, kung kailan nyo ito papanoorin, hi, hi, hello, hello, happy, happy, happy day to all of you. And of course, ayan, we would like to uh, acknowledge all of those who's joining us, who's watching us for the first time. Ayan. If you're a first timer dito sa ating feast at home, can, can you... Comment in the comment section. Sabi nyo, hi, I'm a first timer. We want to reach out to you. We want to connect to you. We have a a link there that that you can click on para makapag, ano kayo, makasign up kayo, makaregister kayo as a first timer so that we can connect with you even after the feast. Ayan, nakikita ko na dyan, no? Beat.ly slash F-A-H-1. First time. Ayan. So, sige, 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 sige. Alam mo, ang dami nating in-store. Another, another beautiful Sunday. Ayan, of course, bumabati sa atin si Sis Tina Rodriguez, si Sis Lisa, si Sis Karina May, nako si Casey. Nako, maraming maraming salamat sa inyo for joining us. Ayan, so sige lang, alam mo, all throughout this feast at home, we want to engage with you. Feel free to type in the comment section kapag meron kayong mga high celeste, ayan, ano? pag meron kayong mga naramdaman na isa puso mula sa talk at gusto nyong i-echo uli at gusto nyong i-share sa, sa ating lahat, just feel free to, to make the comment section on fire. Ayan, that's at least one way for us to be able to engage with one another. And of course, alam nyo, masaya itong feast at home, but we don't end right after the feast at home. We also have our after party. Ayan, because the feast is a celebration. Kailangan may after party tayo dyan. So what do we do in the after party? It's our opportunity to, to, to engage and to share and to bless one another. Of course, grabe, no? We wanna take our our liturgical team, Father Albert Garong, for celebrating the Holy Eucharist with us. That's our highest form of worship. Partaking, not just listening to the liturgy, but really partaking of the body and blood of Christ. Kahit online tayo, no? We believe that, that God is with us. Amen? So, pasalamatan natin ang ating mass team, ang worship team, and of course, Father Albert Garong. Ayan, grabe. So, share, share, share. Don't forget to share, to, to, to share this video, to tag. Come on, makikita ko. Ang dami ko nakikita. Nagtatag na mga friends nila dyan bukod sa comment nyo. Ayan, one way of sharing this is by tagging mismo sila sa comment section. Yung mga friends nyo, family nyo. You can also click the share button so that you can share this on your wall or you can personally invite your friends, your family that the feast at home, tag Taglish, taglish session happens every 
Sunday at 2 o'clock p.m. We start with our Holy Mass and of course to be followed by our worship and our talk. O ba diba, sabi ni Brother Mike Ibianas, ang saya-saya ng Sunday! Can you comment in the comment section? Happy! Yan. Can you type in the comment section? Happy! 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 Yan! Grabe, no? Bago ko kayo ibigay, yan. Bago ko kayo ibigay sa ating preacher for today. Grabe, no? Just like that, tapos na ang ating ano, no? unang buwan ng taon ng 2022 is Feb! Ibig na! Grabe! February na, pangalawang, pangalawang buwan na ng taon. Kamusta ang taon nyo? Kamusta ang 2022 nyo? Pwede nyo ba i-type din sa comment section? I-share nyo nga sa amin. Kamusta na ang 2022 nyo? How is it so far? Can, can you type there? If you're blessed, if you're happy, if you're excited, if you're still looking forward, if, if, ay nako grabe, kung ano man ang feeling nyo, nararamdaman nyo, ayan si Sistina, sabi niya, woohoo! Ganun, grabe, no? Just, just share the energy with all of us. You know why? Because today we will be very blessed as we listen, as we listen to the word of the Lord through this brother of ours, through this preacher of ours. Alam nyo, the feast at home happens because of the leadership of this builder, this this wonderful brother. Naku, hindi lang feast at home. Yung mga, yung mga feast con, feast con natin, nangyayari yan. Yung mga big events natin sa LOJ, nangyayari yan because of the leadership of this brother. But today, he will not be on the backstage today. He will be with us to share with us, to bless us with the word of the Lord. Wag na nating patagalin pa! Grabe! Ang John Lloyd Cruz ng Fis Ortigas District! Ganun, ganun. Let's all welcome Brother Anthony Rodriguez! Thank you, Brother Joel. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, kanina pa ako natataranta. <laughs> First time ko mag-preach yata for this year. Tapos sakto, yung kapitbahay namin nag-celebrate ng birthday. <laughs> So, nung patapos yung misa, ang background music ko, parang si Fred Panopio yata yung, yung kanta niya. Parang pitong gatang yung kanta. Naririnig ko lang, hindi ko naman talaga kilala yung mga yan. Pero for today, just let me know pag maingay live, we'll, we'll do some adjustments. But at the same time, I'd just like to welcome all of you to talk for of our series, Fulfilled. Ayan, nasa home stretch na tayo. Patapos na kay Matthew sa Book of Matthew, nasa talk for tayo for, for today. And yan, excited. 21st anniversary of the first time. Oo nga, ang swerte ni Sistina. Napakaswerte mo dyan sa na-meet mo na yan. Believe, na, believe talaga ako at bless ka talaga. Anyway. But like focus, focus yan. <laughs> Welcome to talk for a VAR series. But before I start, as Brother Joel requested, ang request ko lang sa inyong lahat is if you can tag and share people that you know. Kaibigan mo, kagalit mo, kabarangay mo, kamag-anak mo, kahit sino pa yan. Kasi who knows, today might be the time that the Lord will touch them. And anong ginawa mo? Shinare mo lang yung talk natin for today and ginamit ka na ni Lord. It's as simple as that. I'm excited to share, to preach to you uh, Our, the Word of God for today, ang, ang siyang ano ko lang is, please be open, take this time. If you're doing something else, baba mo muna, focus and try to listen and hear clearly what the Word of God is for each and every one of us today. Ayan. Are you ready, brothers and sisters? Are you excited? I am excited to preach to you today. So if you are, I'd like to invite you to pray our favorite prayer. Yeah. Let's put ourselves in the presence of the Lord in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today I receive all of God's love for me. Today I open myself to the unbounded, limitless, overflowing abundance of God's universe. Today I open myself to God's blessings, healing, and miracles. Today I open myself to God's words so that I become more like Jesus every day. Today I proclaim that I'm God's beloved. I'm God's servant. I'm God's powerful champion. And because I am blessed, I'm blessing the world. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's honor the word of God for us today. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Amen. Brothers and sisters, our key passage for today is uh, 
taken from the book of Matthew, chapter 26, verse 36 to 46. I'll read it to you. Then Jesus went with them to the olive grove called Gethsemane, and he said, Sit here while I go over there to pray. He took Peter and Zebedee's two sons, James and John, and he became anguished and distressed. He told them, My soul is crushed with grief to the point of death. Stay here and keep watch with me. He went on a little farther and bowed with his face to the ground, praying, My Father, if it is possible, let this cup of suffering be taken away from me. Yet I want your will to be done, not mine. Then he returned to the disciples and found them asleep. He said to Peter, Couldn't you watch with me even one hour? Keep watch and pray so that you will not give in to temptation, for the spirit is willing, but the body is weak. And he goes on to say, next slide. And then Jesus left them a second time and prayed, My father, if this cup cannot be taken away unless I drink it, your will be done. When he returned to them again, he found them sleeping for they couldn't keep their eyes open. So he went to pray a third time, saying the same things again. Then he came to the disciples and said, Go ahead and sleep. Have your rest. But look at the time he has come. The Son of Man is betrayed into the hands of sinners. Up, let's be going look. My betrayer is here. Amen. Let's honor the word of God. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Amen, brothers and sisters. We are now in talk four of our series for field. Ang title ng talk natin today is Crush. Yan. Can you say that? Crush. Parang, teka lang, brother Anthony, parang mabigat yata yan. Crush. Crush ba yan na gusto? Crush ba yan na dinurog? Ano ba yan? Anong ibig sabihin yan? But today, I want to preach a simple message to you. Want what God wants. Ayan. Can you say that? Want what God wants. Yan yung pwede ka, sobrang simpleng message lang that we'll be sharing to you today. Question ko sa inyo. Ayan. Want what God wants. Ang question ko sa inyong lahat is, naisip nyo ba minsan or tinanong nyo ba kay God na pwede pa talagang uh, can, pwede pa talaga nating malaman kung ano yung plano ni God sa buhay natin. Pusibli ba talaga yun? Is it really possible? Gusto niyo bang sagutin ko? <laughs> kung ako tatanin niyo, ang sagot ko lang dyan, it depends. Diba? It depends kung ano. If you're thinking of a detailed na step by step na ano ba yung gagawin mo sa buhay, na sabihin sa'yo ni God, o pagising mo, buksan mo yung mata mo. O pagising mo, gumangong ka. Yung mga ganyan. Uh, I don't know if God would do that. Diba? If God wants you to do uh, where to go, what to do, di ba? Anong kakainin mo? Anong isosuot mo? Di ba? Anong kulay ba yung suot mo? Baka hindi mo makita yun. You won't find it. Because God, God won't do that. Di para lang tayong robot lahat, di ba? And there's no such thing na lahat ng gagawin mo nakadikta na no. Because the God didn't make us as puppets. Alam niyo yung puppets, di ba? May kamay na nagko-control. Then hindi tayo ganun. That's not how God made us. And what's surprising, and Kung hindi mo pa narinig to, and so exciting is that He made us as co-creators. Kasama niya tayo. Di ba? As co-creators. So He gives us a divine purpose and He expects us also to fill in the details na itong gagawin mo, pero hindi lahat nakadetalye. Kailangan mo rin uh, mag-isip at may gawin. And I want you to to listen to this. Pag nilayan niyo mabuti habang nag- nakikinig kayo sa talk, ang sabi sa atin, one thing I want to share to you is that when you know His heart, you'll know His plan for your life. Ayan, I'll repeat it. Ha? When you know His heart, you'll know His plan for your life. Ang galing. Diba? Parang pag nalaman mo ba, <laughs> pag may napusuan ka, mahal na mahal mo, malamang plaso ko yun, minsan hindi ganun kapig mo, pero kay God, iba. When you know His heart, malalaman mo kung anong gusto niya mangyari sa buhay mo. That's why Christianity is essentially a relationship with Jesus. Kaya nga tayo, may relationship with Jesus, that's how we get saved. That's how we get to know Him. That's how we, we go to heaven because of our relationship with Jesus. Kasi ang end goal natin here is to want what He wants. That's the end goal of our life. To, the end goal is to want what He wants. Magusto na, gustuhin natin kung ano yung gusto ng Panginoon para sa buhay natin. Today, we're going to discuss the agony in the garden. Yan. Familiar ba kayo sa agony in the garden? Does this sound familiar sa inyo? Narinig nyo na ba yan? 
Oh, oh no, here's a hint. Itong Agony in the Garden, it's the first sorrowful mystery of the rosary. Diba parang love? Love is like a rosary. Hindi, joke. <laughs> diba it's the first sorrowful mystery of the rosary? Like the one we're about to, to talk about today, ano ba talaga ang nangyari sa Agony in the Garden? And what does it mean for us? Ano bang significance itong Agony in the Garden para sa ating lahat ngayon? And I like to share this story sa inyo. When you, when you hear this story for the first time, the first time mo narinig, parang may something off dito sa kwento sa Agony in the Garden. Like Jesus was not the Jesus that we know. Parang wala siya sa character niya, sa tamang, ano ba, tamang, tamang wisho sa buhay. Ano ba? Wala siya sa sarili niya, di ba? And, and ito bang Jesus na to is the same Jesus who, who raised the dead, who pinakalman niya yung mga bagyo, naglakad sa tubig, pinagaling niya yung mga sakit, pinarami niya, di ba? He multiplied bread to feed thousands. Bakit sa Agony in the Garden, he is afraid. If you're not familiar with the story, in a while, I'll share to you the whole story. Bakit dito, parang natatakot siya. And the Gospel of Luke, perhaps, because si Luke kasi doktor yan, di ba? So he gives this extra detail na hindi mo mababasa sa book ni Matthew. He said, Jesus, in Luke 22.44, sabi niya, Jesus was so anguished, he perspired blood. Di ba, sa sobrang anguish si Jesus, nag, ano siya, ano, nagito, <laughs> nagpawis siya ng dugo. And, Parang ang hirap imaginein nun, di ba? Madalas sa ganun, nose bleed tayo sa ilong. Pagka hirap ka na, wala ka ng English na may lupas, kakapiga mo yun din. <laughs> Lumalabas yung dugo. <laughs> di ba, you might ask, akala ko ba si Jesus, Jesus was God, or Jesus is God. Bakit, bakit ganun? Bakit ganun ang pinagdadaanan niya? And that's, but that's precisely the point uh, why we're sharing this to you today. He is not just God. Because Jesus is God and man. Diba? Hindi lang siya God. He was God and man. He, when he went down to earth, when he was born, he became man also. Kaya dalawa yan, Jesus is God and man. That's why the story of the agony in the garden proclaims the core message of the gospel. And the core message of our gospel? Because God loves you. He became like you. Grabe. <laughs> Alam niyo yung binabasa ko yan. Naiyak ako. Narealize ko. Bakit nga ba mahal-mahal ako ni Lord? Hindi naman ako karapat dapat. I am not worthy for for his love, pero because of that he still chooses me every day. 'Di ba? Because God loves us. You you be, we become like you, 'di ba? God loves you, he became like us each and every one of us. 'Di ba? Naramdaman niya yung mga takot mo, naramdaman niya yung mga iniyak mo sa buhay, yung mga sakit mo, yung mga tao nang iwan sa iyo, pinabayaan ka, sinaktan ka. Naramdaman niya din yun. Even the temptations that you go to, he was also tempted. Kaya brothers and sisters, kung nakikinig ka ngayon, nanonood ka ngayon, do you feel rejected? Okay lang yan. Si Jesus also felt rejected by his own people. Di ba? Hindi siya tinanggap ng sarili ng mga tao. Do you feel lonely? Nalulungkot ka ba? Jesus, eto na. Et, eto revelation. Kaya huwag kayong mag-alala. Huwag kayong mag-panic. Relax lang kayo lahat. Di ba? Kung ikaw na lulungkot, si Jesus was a single guy all his life. Kaya okay, wag na kayo matakot, wag na kayo malungkot. <laughs> Pero kung ano, pag may tamang panahon, dadating at dadating din naman yun, di ba? And his closest friends even abandoned him. Di ba? Pinabayaan siya. Do you feel that God has abandoned you? Feeling mo ba iniwan ka na rin ni God? Jesus felt that too on the cross. He was alone in the cross dying. That's why Jesus is unique. God becoming Like us. Alam nyo, no other religion has this message. So now I'll go to verse by verse. Ano ba talaga yung nangyari sa, sa Agony in the Garden? The first verse gives us where this event happened. In verse 36, sabi dito, Then Jesus went with them to the olive grove called Gethsemane, and he said, Sit here while I go over there to pray. So Gethsemane most likely means olive press. Yun yung yun yung area na yun. So, Gethsemane is equivalent to olive press. So, if you fly to if you fly to Israel today and go to the spot called Gethsemane, you'll still see an olive tree that are centuries old. Ay, may picture tayo dito pakita ng olive tree. Parang may idea kayo. Ang laki-laki niya, no? Pero pag hindi mo, nasa bote na. Yung, yung, the process na, no? So, yan. It, it stays there. In ancient Jews, they use a giant stone to press the olives and squeeze out the olive oil. Ayan, isang malaking bilog, nilalagin nila yung olives yan, pinapaikot yung malaking stone na yon para ma-press out, makuha yung katas ng olive tree. 
And then think about it. Diba? It's a perfect picture to describe what Jesus experienced in that garden. Parang nung si Jesus nandun, he was praying, pigang-piga na siya, Lord, ano bang mangyayari? What will happen to us? Diba? Ang tanong ko sa inyo, brothers and sisters, habang nanonood kayo ngayon, are you going through intense pressure right now? Matindi ba yung pinagdadaanan mo sa buhay? Whether sa work, sa office, sama na natin ng love life, you know, sa personal life mo, di ba? Mentally, all of us have gone through our own Gethsemanes. Lahat tayo may pinagdaan ng pressure or pinagdaan ng isugoy. And pressure is not good or bad. I want you to take this down. Pressure brings out who you really are. Yan, pressure brings out who you really are. That's why it's important. If, you, if there's one thing that you want to write down, take a picture of, yan, tandaan niyo yan. Ako ay, I love pressure. Hindi dahil sa sadista ako, pero I'm into events. Alam, yung mga nag alam niyo yung pagka-events, grabe ang pressure. Hanggang mag-start na lang, o ongoing na, meron pa rin, meron pa rin difficulty, misa may problema pa rin. And I, I love that because I think well pagka ganun. And it brings, totoo yun, it brings out who you really are. Kasi pag na-pressure ka, pwede ka namang magalit, magmura at kung ano pang sabihin, or pwede kang umiti, pabayaan mo lang. Kasi kita kung ano yung tunay mong character when pressure is there. So brothers and sisters, kung may pinagdadaanan ka, if you're going through difficulties, I suggest that you do what Jesus did in the garden. Di ba? Let me ask a hypothetical, hypothetical ano, controversial question sa inyo. Feeling ba natin kung si Jesus hindi siya nag-pray in Gethsemane, ano kaya ang nangyari? Yeah? If Jesus did not pray in Gethsemane, what would have happened? Ano na kaya nangyari sa ating lahat? If all he did was let his anguish eat him up, matakot na lang siya at umayaw na siya, would he still have pushed through with the cross? Would he still have saved each and every one of us? Hindi ko alam. I cannot answer that. Gusto ko lang guluhin kayo. The joke lang. I don't know the answer, pero ito yung alam ko. Here's what I know. What Jesus did, Jesus prayed during that time. When he was experiencing pressure, Jesus prayed. Nagdasal siya kasi yun ang pinaka-core niya. Ito talaga yung kailangan kong gawin. That's what he is during pressure. Jesus prayed. And that's what we need to do, brothers and sisters. Kung feeling mo sab- sobra na yung nararanasan mo sa buhay, feeling mo, bakit ganito na araw-araw? Bakit? Ako na lang, Lord. Favorite mo ba? Bakit love life na lang? Di mo po maibigay. Ilang years na ako nag-pray. E pray ka pa. Di ba? Si, hanggang lumabas ang dugo sa pawis mo. Hindi <laughs> naman siguro. Di ba? Jesus pray. That's what we need to do. But how did he pray? Di ba? I'll, I'll answer the question later on. Pero I'll continue with the reading. In verse 37, it says there, He took Peter and Zebedee's two sons, James and John, and he became anguished and distress. Kitang kita mo gaano ka human yung dating kasi dinadaanan eh. That's what we all go to anguish and distress and then those guys were his core. Ito yung top niya na na mga tao talaga si Peter, si James and si John, di ba? They were the same friends that um I think Jesus uh, yeah, I'm sure Jesus brought them with him when he was transfigured on the mountain. Yan yung kasama niya. I'm guessing Matthew was contrasting these two very opposite events na nangyari sa kanila. I-refresh ko lang yung memory niyo. Uh Here's what happened in Transfiguration. In Matthew 7, chapter 1 to 3, it says there, Six days later, Jesus took Peter and the two brothers, James and John, and led them up a high mountain to be alone. As the men watched, Jesus' appearance was transformed so that his face shone like the sun and his clothes became as white as light. Suddenly, Moses and Elijah appeared and began talking with Jesus. Grabe. Think about it. Doon sa bundok, on the mountain, they saw his divinity. But in the garden, they saw his humanity. Ang swerte ng tatlo, no? nakita nila kung sino talaga si Jesus. Diba? They saw his divinity on the mountain, but in the garden, they saw his humanity. Diba? On the mountain, his face shone like the sun. Kitang-kita mo talaga siya. Na ito, bakit ganun siya? Uh, yung, yung call niya talaga. And in the garden, Jesus bowed with his face to the ground na nakabaon sa lupa. And that's how human it is. Friends, na-realize ko lang, isn't this our life? Parang buhay lang din natin lahat to, di ba? Sometimes we're up, sometimes we're down, di ba? Sometimes yung mga relationship natin ay okay naman, sometimes ang health natin is okay, or sana madalas, di ba? Madalas ang health natin, okay. our career uh, is doing well, we're achieving our dreams, mag-usunat pangyari sa buhay, pero sometimes 
our relationships are filled with pain. Diba yung feeling mo, itong relationship na to na 10 years na to, hindi, sobrang saya, biglang nag-end, diba puro pain naman? Feel, yung feeling mo na hindi ako nagkakasakit for the longest time, biglang yung katawan mo, nagkasakit ka. Yung feeling mo, yung career mo, nandito na lang ako palagi, ilang taon na ako dito. Alam mo yun, parang nag-umpisa ako sa trabaho nito as assistant, assistant, assistant to the assistant. Ngayon, yun pa rin ang role ko, assistant to the assistant to the assistant. Parang ano na ba? <laughs> diba? Ang feeling mo, sana pa ba ako pupunta? You're, I'm going nowhere with with the life that I'm living. But brothers and sisters, paalala ko lang din sa ating lahat, no? both the mountain and the garden are part of this journey called life. Diba? Yung highs and downs, yung, yung, yung highs and lows, yung ups and downs, this is part of our journey called life. Kasama po yan sa biyahe ng buhay. Kasama yan. Diba? Ang maganda dyan is the earlier you accept this, the better. Hindi ka na mamablema, hindi ka na maiinis, di ba? Hindi ka na magsasayang ng oras mo para magalit, magtampo. The earlier you accept is the better for for you personally. But here's what I learned in life. Ito maganda rin. Where you are is not important as who you are with. Di ba? Where you are is not is not as important as who you are with. Kung nasaan ka man, hindi ganun ka-importante. Di ba? Ang importante kung sino yung kasama mo. Yun ang mahalaga doon. Ang mahalaga, importante. Sabi nila yan, di ba? Totoo naman yan. <laughs> Joke. importante. Your location is not as important as your companion. Di ba? Kung nasaan ka man, importante. sino yung kasama mo dyan? I can be anywhere. Di ba? I, I can go anywhere. I, I've been here serving in the Philippines. I went to mission in East Timor before and to other guys. I went to India to serve there. It doesn't matter kahit ano eh. Di ba? Kahit saan ako pumunta, ang importante kung sino yung kasama ko. As long as Jesus is with me, that is important. As long as Jesus is with me, wherever I go, wherever He sends me, it's okay. So brothers and sisters, pwede ko pa kayong ma-invite to go deeper uh, into our topic today. In a previous talk, I think we shared to you how Jews use Genesis as a lens, di ba? Specific, specifically in chapters 1, 2, and 3 ng Genesis, when, when they read the Bible, yan ang pinaka, bina, ginagamit nila. And because biblical authors hyperlink their stories, kinoconnect nila stories back to the original story, the story of all stories go back to Adam and Eve, di ba? Balikan natin yun. So when Matthew wrote about Gethsemane, my guess is he wanted us, as readers, to recall the garden of all gardens. Yeah. Ano ba yung garden of all gardens? Because in the first garden, Adam and Eve gave in to the pressure. Diba? Nag- nagpatokso sila. Diba? But Jesus didn't. In the garden. Adam chose, Adam and Eve followed their feelings, but Jesus followed his faith. Yun ang sinunod niya, diba? And my friends, you are in a garden right now. Garden ng buhay. Na pinagdadaanan natin. There is intense pressure all around you. Sino bang walang pressure? <laughs> Buti na lang, no? Ang saya-saya ko. <laughs> Lahat tayo yung pinagdadaanan, eh. And you're faced with the same choice every day. Ang tanong ko sa inyo is, will you be like Adam and Eve who chose Godhead? Or you will be like Jesus who chose death for others, di ba? That's, that's the choices you have to make when you're in the garden. Ano bang pipiliin mo, di ba? Um, maging Godhead or mamatay, di ba? And in Gethsemane, Jesus prayed three times. Grabe. Three times in the sense of Jesus when he was there. And Matthew shared the first two prayers of Jesus. So if you compare them, you'll discover something beautiful. Here in verse 39, your first prayer is, My Father, if it is possible, let this cup of suffering be taken away from me. Yet I want your will to be done, not mine. I'll repeat that. Huh? My Father, if it is possible, let this cup of suffering be taken away from me. Yet, I want your will to be done, not mine. Then I'll go to the second prayer. In verse 42, ang prayer naman niya is, My Father, if this cup cannot be taken away unless I drink it, your will be done. I'll repeat it. Para ma- 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 it. My Father, if this cup cannot be taken away unless I drink it, your will be done. Siguro sabi niyo, Brother Anthony, bakit naman inulit-ulit ko pa yung dalawang prayer? Parang parehas naman sila. Diba? Parehas naman yung prayer niya. Pero alam niyo, that's why I read it at twice to, to you both the prayers because they're not the same. Even if the same words were used, pareho lang yung words na ginamit, the phrasing shifted, di ba? Hinting 
a subtle movement. May nagbago just sa, uh, sa posture ni Jesus when he was praying. If you notice, the second prayer is more detached. Diba? Mas medyo malay sa kanya. Because the end goal of all prayer is total surrender. Bahala ka ng Lord, di ba? The end goal of all prayer is total surrender. Ang tanong ko sa inyo, friends, how surrendered are you right now to the Lord? How surrendered are you? Binigay mo na ba talaga lahat? O marami ka pang pwedeng ibigay, pero Lord, this year ito lang muna. Ha? Next year, saka na iba pang kasalanan, iba pang ano. Lord, saka ako na ibigay lahat sa'yo. Sigurado ko pang may next year pa. <laughs> diba? Give everything to God. Let Him take care of you. And here are the two steps of the Gethsemane prayer. This is the long prayer ni Jesus. Yung ano niya. Uh, step one is, you tell God what is in your heart. Sabi mo kay God, kanina sa puso mo. Diba? Huwag mo lakpasan ito. Ay, lakpasan. Huwag lagpasan. <laughs> Nabulol pa sa Tagalog ko. Huwag mong lagpasan ito. Don't, huwag kang tumalo ng dalawang steps ahead. Diba? Isa-isahin mo lang. Namnamin mo yung panahon mo with the Lord. God wants you to be to open up and be real before Him. Diba? In the first step, you be honest with God. You tell God what is in your heart. Feel your feelings in His presence. And then, si Lord, do you, ang tanong sa inyo, gumagawa ba kayo ng dream list? Gumagawa ba kayo ng parang dream board na ito yung gusto kong mangyari sa buhay ko? Diba? Yung may mga picture yan. Parang yung picture natin, may cut out, may pictures pa, what you want for your future, bahay, sasakyan. Importante yan eh. Every year, We as a family do our family planning. Because we write down also yung ganyan. We do it every January. Hindi lang kami nakapag-planning this January kasi nga nagka-spike sa ano. Tapos kami rin, we had COVID. Um, we started the year with COVID, parang ganun. So hindi pa. So we'll try to do it this February. Na nakalagay lahat ng dreams mo doon. Ano yung gusto niyong blessings na marisin? Diba? We write down the blessings that we need for the coming year. This year, or for this year, this new year. Um, I love doing that because... Ang pakiramdam ko, gustong-gusto rin ni God na nakikinig sa mga puso natin. Sa mga puso ng mga anak ko namin, mag-asawa ng pamilya namin. When we when we ask and pray for something na, alam yun, ito yung prayers namin, Lord. Eh. Na, alam, di ko naman alam ko bibigay niya lahat, pero alam ko nakikinig siya sa desires ng hearts namin. That's why it's important for you to be honest and let, give it all to God. There's a second step. The step two is, you let God tell you what is in His heart. Grabe yan. Una, sabi mo ko, anina sa puso, itong step two, you let God tell you what is in His heart. ba? Diba? That's the purpose of prayer. Kasi kung if you don't spend time with God, if you don't pray with God, how will God tell you what is in His heart? Ay, parang ang sarap ng feeling na Lord, sabi mo naman sa akin, anina sa puso mo, para alam ko na tayo madalas, kasi yun lang ang prayer natin, Lord, ito nararamdaman ko. Lord, ito, Labas lang tayo ng labas. But take that time of prayer to be with the Lord and know, Lord, ano ba talaga yung nasa puso mo, Lord? Ano ba yung gusto mong sabihin sa akin? Kaya nga yung start natin kanina, di ba? Hindi naman natin malalaman completely anong plan ni God step by step. Pero God can tell us what is in His heart when we have that relationship. And uh, ito one thing, uh, ang ganda rin na, na I'll read this to you and maganda rin na tandaan sa buhay. It's not, it's not to get what we want but to want what God wants when we pray. That's why it's important. Again, it's not to get what we want. Hindi tayo nagdadasal para makuha yung gusto natin, but we pray because we want to know what God wants in our life. Diba? Totoo naman, at the end of the day, kung ano man nangyari, say we surrender it up to God. Lord, bahala ka na kung ano man ang pinagdadaanan ko. Lord, bahala ka na kung ano mang pain meron ako sa buhay, ano mang sickness, Lord, or ano mang joy, ano mang blessings, but I offer it up to you. Diba? We pray because you want to know what God wants to do with us. And by the way, ang tanong ko sa, have you heard this, this biological phenomenon? Ang tawag dito, entrainment. Yan. Hindi po yung parang that's entertainment. Iba po yun at entrainment lang to. Iba, hindi rin ito yung train na ipinasok na train. Iba po. I'll explain it to you. It happens all the time. Hindi lang tayo siguro familiar with it. Ang, ano ba yung entrainment? Example dito is, for example, you're walking with a friend. Ayan. Kikwentuhan kayo. After some time, yung, yung ibang nanood, baka ma-affect kayo, may ka-holding hands, yung ganun, huwag kayo masakta, di na joke. <laughs> Peace tayo lahat. Malapit na kasi yung Feb Ibig niya, eto, Feb Ibig month na. So you're walking with a friend, chatting away. After some time, when you look down, mapapansin mo, you and your friends have synchronized your steps. Parehas na kayo, yung lakad ng kaliwang paa ng kanan, parehas na, di ba? You're, 
face is exactly match when your friend moves his right foot you move your right foot too di ba without thinking about it it's perfectly coordinated ang na-realize ko lang dito ang hirap ano pag pina- ang mag-iingat kayo pag ginagawa niyo to kasi pag pinagmasdan mo lang pala yung paa baka mamaya madapa ka hindi mo nakikita yung nasa harap so tingin-tingin ka din sa harap ha? baka practice niyo to after narinig ko yung kay brother na <laughs> tingin-tingin din po sa taas sa harap kana na hindi ka madapa <laughs> joke lang di ba that's called entrainment na bigla na lang you feel that you are both synchronized because of spending time together and that's not all di ba when a mother and child spend time together eto hindi ko lang kung narinig yun na to studies show that breathing of the child in trains with the breathing of the mother. Diba? They, they start breathing in the same rhythm, parehas na, and pretty soon, even the child's heartbeat follows the heartbeat of the mother. Grabe, no? The mother and child the relationship. It's so amazing. It's so fascinating. And when I heard about this, I said to myself, I want that in my relationship with God. Di ba kayo naingit doon? I want that in my relationship with God that I know uh, kung ano yung gusto mangyari ni God sa buhay ko that I know everything things that are not okay in me na remind ako ni God and I want that kind of relationship with Him even if I know Him already parang ako gusto ko pa ng deep relationship with Him just like that and brothers and sisters I don't know if you heard of this story uh, sikat to I think you've heard this a thousand times already or a million times a million dreams and dejo Si Derek Redmond, I don't know if you've heard of him. Itong si Derek Redmond, all his life, di ba? Ang dream niya lang is to win an Olympic medal. So, bata pa lang siya, dun niya na pinipreprepare yung sarili niya. Okay, so, training, training and everything. Then, lo and behold, come 1992, Barcelona yata. In Barcelona Olympics, no? He was given a chance to to run for, for his country. That's a 400-meter relay. So, while they were running, excited siya, marinig yung Di ba yung gunshot sa, sa starting line? Nung narinig niya yung takbo siya as if everything, yan na lahat, bibigay ko na rin kasi ito yung, ito yung dream ko eh. So he did that, he was running. And sa may bandang last turn na, what happened was, he tore his hamstring. Di ba, na-injury na siya, so he was limping. Bumagsak siya noon at sumayong siya, he was limping. Pero hindi siya pumahayag na hindi niya matapos yung race. All his life, yan lang yung dream niya. All his life, yan lang yung gusto niyang mangyari. Diba? To win the gold medal. Hindi siya magpapatalo sa nararamdaman. So he stood up. He was limping to the finish line. Then all of a sudden, diba? From the crowd, there was this big guy coming out. Hinawi niya lahat yung mga security. Pinuntahan niya si Derek Redmond. Inakay niya. Tapos sinamahan niya hanggang makarating sa finish line. Yung lagay na yun was Derek Redmond's father. So he went with his son, si Derek Redmond, simply because alam niya na ito yung gusto ng anak niya ever since Ever since he was young, ito yung dream niya. Di ba parang if the father knows what's in our hearts, he will be with us up to the finish line. He will never leave us because he knows what is beating in our hearts. That's why we need to know and share that to God also. In closing, brothers and sisters, I want to leave you with this message. You know, the real miracle is not when God answers your prayer. Again, the real miracle is not when God answers your prayer, but when God's heartbeat is beating inside your chest. So brothers and sisters, take this time. Open yourself up to God. Open yourself up to the Lord and allow Him to hear what is beating in your heart so that we could also know what is God, what is, what is it, what is the God plan of God for each and every one of us. Brothers and sisters, I pray that you are blessed today and may God.